Hey buddies, it's your Ninja Thunder Z96 and today I will be talking about scammers. I know it's a sensitive topic and it's no doubt that Lumion Legacy is one of the most toxic communities in Roblox. In this video, I will be talking about different types of scammers that exist in Lumion Legacy and I will be doing a separate video on how can you avoid scammers in Lumion Legacy. Before I start please do subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell for the latest updates, tips and giveaway events if you are new to this channel. Also, if you haven't watched my trade value videos, please head over to the description down below. Because these videos might help you with trading in Lumion Legacy. Firstly, what is a scammer? A scammer is someone who commits fraud aka cheating or participates in a dishonest scheme. In the official Lumion Legacy Discord server, it stated that all trades are final and neither the moderators nor the developers can get back the Lumions that you've traded. This includes where you have traded a rare Lumion with a scammer and he or she suddenly disappeared without a trace, you won't be able to get back the Lumions. In the first place, they have warned you that it's your choice on whether to trade for it or not. If you chance upon a good trade, for instance, a Gleam Duskit for 20 to 25 shards, it's most likely a scam. Also, please do not hate the developers for not returning those Lumions that have been scammed. I do see some suggestions saying that you should have given back those Lumions that have been scammed and banned those players as well. Instead of banning those players. Firstly, it's going to be a complicated process to return each and every Lumions to victims who have been fallen into the scammer scheme. Imagine that there's 200 messages flooding through your DMs each day with scammed proofs. Please do note that some developers and moderators are busy with their real life work as well. Also, if the developers allow a return of Lumions that have been scammed by scammers, some would even take advantage of it by sending a fake proof, saying that they have been scammed by someone which in return, gaining a rare profit. As a result, the best that they can do, is to put a temporary or permanent ban on those scammers. Again, I do know scammers will have alternate accounts in case they knew that they will be banned from those actions. As a result, these bans may not be very effective at all. Hence, please be more vigilant and remember that a very good trade may not be good at all. If the player asked you to go first and refused to compromise, it's most likely a scam. So please be aware of it. Moving on, if scamming is equivalent to cheating, does low-balling a trade called a scam as well? Low-balling is a controversial topic all right. I would like to address that there are two types of players. One is well aware of the values but have decided to low-ball it. And the other player is completely unaware of the values and so, the trades that they offered are kind of a low ball trade. I would like to emphasize that it's your choice to trade away your Lumions and if someone low balled you, you can choose to ignore him or her. You don't have to perform that particular trade. Hence, I don't categorize low balling as a scam. You should know that in trading, most players want to make profit from it and as a result, they will be looking for overpays. And also, there are players who really need that particular Lumion. Thus, they might overpay it. There are also players who don't even know the basis of trading and as a result, everything might feel like a scam to them. I do know that some of you guys said that some famous YouTubers are sharkers but I do feel that you can prevent this situation from happening by ignoring them who have been doing extreme low ball trades with you guys. In conclusion, low ball trades are not scams. That brings us to the next question, what types of scammers are there then? How do I know that it's a scam? I will go through a couple of scams that I have encountered in Trade Resort. First one would be the vending machine scam or play a game scam. Basically, you have to give a Lumion in order to enter the vending machine game where they will randomly give you back a Lumion. The rarer the Lumion, the higher the chance of getting a rarer Lumion back. Play a game scam has the same set of rules as the vending machine scam. Basically, the game is to give him or her a rare Lumion, and the one that gave the rarest Lumion will have something in return. These two scams are common in most trade resort servers and again, some players still fall for it. Please ignore or report this player to the developers with screenshots as proof so that they can take further actions against them. Basically, these scammers will disappear without a trace, after collecting all the Lumions from you guys. Some will even pretend to give you something in return in order to gain trust from you guys. Please do not ever trade rare Lumions to these types of scams. Moving on to the next scam, which is the Mia scam. Basically, trading lots of gummies or gleams or even shards for a gamma. There are lots of players who have done before.
Basically, the player will ask you to give 8 gleams first and after that, for the last 4 gleams, they will give you the gamma. However, they left the game while you're trading your last 4 gleams and that's how players scam countless of players. Please do not trust all these types of trade because chances of you getting scam would be more than 80%. However, there's a possibility that these scams can be avoided which I will be talking about that in the subsequent video. Next, scammers who are trading items for gleams. Basically, some players do trade an item, could be a thunderfruit or an ancient scepter for gleams. They will first put their lumion with that item to show you that there's the item right there. With that, you're convinced that it should not be a scam. You put your gleams in before you're ready to trade them, they will ask you to flex your lumions, can be PvP or gleams. While you're finding for lumions to flex at them, they will swap the lumion with the same lumion but without the item. That's how another scam happened. Personally, I encountered it and I remembered the name of that scammer. However, since he failed to scam me because I have nothing to flex to him as I don't flex, I just rejected his offer and I couldn't report him because technically, he didn't scam me. Moving on to the next scam which is an illegal scam on Lumion Legacy, giving Robux for Lumions. This trade is illegal and if you have seen any players doing that, like trading Lumions for Robux or vice versa, please report to the moderators or the developers. Also, these kind of trades are most likely a scam so please do not get involved with it. There's also this scam where well-known players would ask you to borrow GRS or GGS for YouTube videos. Eventually, they didn't even make a video on it and never returned to them again. Please do not borrow any Lumions to others even your friends because you might never know what's their real intention. Also, this kinds of scams often happened within friends and so, it can be pretty difficult to report to the developers or the moderators because you trusted them and failed to capture any evidence about the scam. The last two scams that I would like to talk about is something that's related to Discord. The first scam that is related to Discord is the link scam. This has been happening probably a few weeks back and several servers have been posting notices about scammers who have sent links with hyphens in it. If you click on that link, you will be IP logged and your account will be logged out from it. If you type in your username and password to log in again, those scammers would be able to retrieve your information that you have logged in. As a result, they will be able to steal your Lumions and so, please be aware of that. Last but not least, the OT scam. It happened a couple of weeks ago as well but soon after, it died down. Basically, the particular trader wants to find a person's OT and it's probably his friend's OT Lumion for overpays. Probably two gammas for a person's OT Ikazun. Of course, others will be finding for that particular OT and tries to overpay for it. In the end, the trader who originally wants the particular OT Lumion, said that he or she has already found it. This scam usually takes two or more players' effort to do so. If they succeeded, they will split the profit earned. Again, I do like to emphasize that all these types of scams do happen but sometimes these trades might not be 100% a scam. For instance, trading items for Lumions or trading items for items might not be a scam and these scams can be prevented which I will be talking about that in my next video. Also, because of these scammers, some players really wanted to help new players but are falsely accused as scammers. Hence, please do not jump into conclusions and accused him or her as scammers. Instead, take a step back and access the situation, before jumping straight into conclusions on whether he or she is a scammer. That's a learning point I would like you guys to take note of and please do leave a like to indicate your interest on tips to avoid falling into the scammer scheme. Also, I would like to hear your stories that you have once encountered it and was scammed by him or her. Please write in the comments section down below so that others would be more well aware of these players. If you really want me to address certain types of players because he or she has scammed several players, please do email me and send in a detailed story with videos or screenshots as proof. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Cheers.